It's great to speak with you again today, uh, Hytham. Uh, looking forward to this uh, topic, which is blockchain and the virtuous supply chain. Um, can you uh, first provide us with a brief background of yourself? Thank you, Dustin. It's a pleasure to, to, uh, to speak with you again. Well, currently I'm a lecturer in the American University in the Emirates. And, um, and I am very interested in the topic of uh, data science and supply chains, as well as I'm now exploring also how can blockchains help uh, improve our supply chain and, as we can say, make it better or with no errors or also hashtag the virtuous supply chain. Can you first uh, discuss what is blockchain? Well, uh, with, without any technical terms, blockchain is just a data structure like a simple uh, relational data set. But the only difference is it's, uh, it's not uh, centralized, it's decentralized, meaning it follows a peer-to-peer -peer network. So this allows the data to be spread among uh, participants, that's one. The second, it allows transparency of this data. The third, it allows many people to visualize and agree on the state of this data. So blockchain is just a way to store the data in hashes, in technical terms, but it provided another way for integrity of the data and uh, also allowed, as we can see from the past four or five months, the, the, the transfer of cryptocurrency and this kind of things. But right now we are seeing the trend of uh, the blockchain moving from a permissionless to a permissionable uh, blockchain, meaning that the companies now are making their own blockchain within the supply chain. So they can have a better, more visible, more transparent supply chain. Talk more about the um, how this will be used in the supply chain. That's that's good. As you know, we have many problems in our supply chain. We have we can say that we have socioeconomic problems. We have uh, environmental problems. For example, the socioeconomic we have the the conflict diamond problem in Africa. Uh, for the supply chain of diamonds, we have uh, the tuna or the fish uh, problems where you can fish. Uh, overseas and also the slavery of the workers working in the fish industry we saw before the 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 burning or the demolishment of the demolish of the factory in bangladesh the, a huge problem we saw the small rooms or the small factories where small ch where young children work which is also a problem for the making of the shoes and making of the clothes in the, in asia and this kind of problems so this is the socioeconomic factor and we have the environmental factor where you can uh, make a huge carbon footprint in your supply chain. Also, we have the economic factor where you try to reduce the overstocking of your, the physical flow of your supply chain or understock and have uh, less customer satisfaction, let's say. So all of these factors can be improved by the integration of blockchain in our supply chain because I think if all the participants uh, have clear visibility of the tr and traceability of the flow of the supply chain, we can have, uh, like, let's say, a virtuous supply chain. Because if everyone knows that everyone is watching, then everyone will take care about how they are performing, how, how are they flowing, what, what's, in the, what's in the ingredient of the physical flow itself and take care also about the, the workers that are uh, contributing in the supply chain. Are there any challenges involved? Yes, there are big challenges. Uh, you see, the big players or the major or the important stakeholders in the supply chain, usually they are the final assembly or the big company that are selling its product, the, the well-known company. They don't want uh, 100 percent visibility or traceability in their supply chain because it will not benefit them because it's it will hurt their bottom line you see these companies are trying to ever and yeah, continuously reduce the, uh, the 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 cost margin for their products and accordingly 
make more or uh, more damaging uh, practices in the supply chain, like uh, making the workers work for longer hours, uh, sourcing from the uh, wrong or not suitable sources, or um, enslaving the workers, this kind of practices, right? So by doing these practices, they reduce their uh, cost margin, right? So by having the complete traceability in the supply chain, uh, those companies will not do the same. And accordingly, the price will go up and accordingly, they will compete less. So blockchain is a mean to make or to enable full traceability in the supply chain. But we are not sure if companies have the will to do so. I mean, there are many companies well known in this area that are very uh, aware of their envi the environment and the socioeconomic factor. And there are companies who are, well, uh, they play on the policies and these kind of things. So we have the mean now or the blockchain mean, but we are not sure if most of the companies have the will. Some companies now uh, like to offer the customer uh, premium products, like I work to his company here in Dubai, the name is Halal Chain. They are offering a blockchain solution where the companies try to offer a premium a product and the customer know they are buying a premium product and the customer have full visibility of the supply chain from the supplier side up until it reaches his hand, which I, th I think it's very innovative. Some other uh, companies now, I think in our projects in the United States, there is a project called Provenance uh, project and the Hyperledger project. This, these companies are also uh, adapting the uh, the permissionable blockchain to enable the uh, companies or the many stakeholders in the supply chain to have a complete visibility on their supply chain. Thanks. And do you have any final recommendations? Well, I think this. Uh, I think it comes from the customer at the end because if the customer is willing or knows that he is buying the, the product uh, with uh, that is sustainable, that is clean, has no dirty hands on it, then I think the companies will be obliged to adapt the blockchain technology in a virtuous manner. That's why I said in the beginning, adapting the virtuous supply chain because as I said, it comes from the customer, it comes from the regulations, and it comes from the companies. If the customer says no to having a product that is, let's say, contaminated or polluted, either from an environmental side or from a content side, then I think the companies, most of them will be, com will be compelled or obliged to have this blockchain integration. So as I said, it's a mean, it's a very good mean, but there has to be a will. Thanks again for sharing your views on blockchain and the, the virtuous supply chain. Thank you so much, Dustin, for having me back.